friends welcome back to the vlog channel last week of 2021 i i have no words this year has gone so fast but i'm so ready for 2022 obviously because we get to meet our baby boy um but i wanted to show you guys something fun if you do not follow on my insta sam upgraded my ring um for christmas and i've had so many questions about it and I think people think there's like some tea or something happened to my ring or whatever. And it's just simple. He wanted to get me an upgrade. And so um, same exact manufacturer or retailer, I guess, same and Sue, Morganite, same size stone, everything. It is literally my exact ring. It just has diamonds on the band and then around the actual Morganite. And then I got, he got me new um, bands themselves too. It was an emotional moment putting my gorgeous ring that he got me in the safe yesterday, but um, I talked a little bit about it on Instagram stories and I was just like, I'm kinda not, I don't think I'm gonna make a video about this. Cause one, I would do it maybe in a year or so just to give you guys an updated review, but I've had it for a day. I just wanna rush in it. So that's really what I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> um, but if you do see it, notice the difference because it's different. So I am about to go make lunch. I'm gonna show you guys this new delicious lunch that I've been making. I found the recipe on Pinterest. It was one of those like, um, you know how they like now let you add videos to Pinterest. So I found it on one of those and I've kind of like tweaked it a little bit on my own. Uh, so it's really good. But other than that, all of the Christmas decorations are coming down today. It is December 26th. I do not leave our decorations up after Christmas. I am so ready to have them down on Christmas day because I decorate so, excuse me, so early that like when it's when christmas is over i'm over it so we are taking down everything except for the lights that are hanging on our curtains um sam does have to take something to his brothers but apart from that i have to film a video but lunch has to come first because well hold on it's very dark my child is screaming at me in my belly telling me that he needs he needs some food so i gotta get to it Ray Sally, Ray Sally, say hello. Say I am so cute. We got them new toys, our little fur babies. Um, and yesterday we got them catnip toys and Doug literally took their catnip toys from them. Like within minutes and they're so tiny that I didn't even know he had one in his mouth. And Sam was like, drop it. And he just like opened his mouth and the toy fell out. I was like, what are you doing with catnip? You got your own toy. These animals are crazy, look at this. I wore these boots to my in-laws yesterday, so you smell Toby. He smells my in-laws bulldog, who is a chunky monster of a cute thing. Okay, Celine, what are you doing, honey? All right. Like, what is, what is this? What are you doing? Hey, what you doing? Okay, so the meal that I'm making, show you guys pulled the shrimp out already so i weigh everything by grams when i eat um so that is how i get my actual like meal kind of um under a certain calorie count so that's the good thing about this meal that i'm going to share is if you want more you can just add more um but the amount of rice that i put in there fills me up so much so i put in i'm gonna go based on grams here 88 grams of the shrimp this is just the fully cooked shrimp it's the medium size from food lion it's frozen i pull it out i'll cut the tails off of it then what like measure it that way um till it gets to 88 grams i do 25 grams of avocado and then one egg this rice right here so it is kind of odd so what i'll do is i'll probably make this meal for the next like two or three days this entire pack has to be cooked all together so what i'll do is i'll take I'll cook the whole thing, I'll separate out what I need, and then I'll put the rest of it in the fridge, and then tomorrow when I'm making the food, I'll actually just toss the rice into the pot while I'm like actually cooking it. That way it, it gets reheated. And then um, you can add onion, but that is not necessary. So let me go ahead and prep all of this stuff. But Salem, stop attacking your brother. I know, Doug, I heard it. It's obviously easier if you get shrimp that's already doesn't have a tail on it but this is just peeled and deveined they did not they still only had the kind with the tail so it is what it is okay so 
I'm not sure if I said it. So it's the pouch calorie count on my fitness pal is correct incorrect which is why i do a lot of stuff in grams so this is the kind that i use it's the ben's original ruddy rice long grain white um you just cook it for 90 seconds and then i'm going to measure out 150 grams which is i think it's like 120 calories doesn't look like the most appetizing but it is so delicious so i added the avocado first because i cut it up to like make sure it was all kind of like evenly dispersed put the rice on there and then after the egg was fully cooked the shrimp was fully cooked and the onions were fully cooked i combined them all together and put sriracha on top it is so good and if you do it the with the same gram count so i'll do it one more time so i did 88 grams of shrimp 12 grams of onion 24 grams of an avocado one large egg and then 150 grams of that rice, it's 349 calories, and it is seriously because of the rice and the shrimp, such a feel filling meal. And if you count macros, it's 37% of my daily like protein goal, um, and 32% of my fat goal, and 31% of my carbs. So we are still doing very good for the day. Hello, friends. So we are here. It is the 27th. Sam's off work for another day, just today. And then my dad is off for like, told like January 4th or something. And I um, was texting him yesterday and I was like, we're gonna go furniture shopping tomorrow. And he was like, oh, look for us a table or table, TV table or something. And um, I was like, why don't you guys just go with us? We're actually gonna meet them over there. We are looking for, our main goal is nightstands. But we are also looking for, if they have one, a dining room table. Our dining room table is not the best, but our chairs are <laughs> the worst. So we had to get all our measurements and stuff today, and then we are headed to the store. Um, we're also gonna run some errands. Well, I got Sam with me. I'm not doing it by myself. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So we found nightstands. I am actually back in my office right now editing a video, and Sam is putting them together. Well, pulling them out. And so I wanted to come see everything. These are, I haven't even walked in the bedroom yet to see what they look like. These are the old ones. Tiny. Whoa. Whoa, those are big. These are torn up, y'all. You can't really see, so it's just like literally a black drawer and then this literal black hole. Like, yeah, that's about how dark it looks just in person. I, I almost feel like the same little things that we got for little man in the nursery, the little drawer organizers. Yeah. I feel like these are big enough. You could probably really one or two. Okay. I just won't. Um, okay. So I know they match the wall a little bit too much, but these are actually going to go with us when we move hopefully next year, next two years. So we did buy these with like long-term goals in mind. So yes, it does not look the best with this being all matchy matchy, but do lampshades crooked. Yeah. Um, Wow, they look good though. Hold on. So these are just y'all. They're so tiny. They're literally 19 and a half inches. Side by side might be about the same size as one. Of these. Yeah, I think those we measured them today are like 26 inches or something. Look at how much better that looks. Again, like obviously, literally blends in with the wall. I need a vacuum. But wow, this like this is probably where the lamp was before. Like they were so they felt so like, small. Where I have the lamp on this one. From this over is the space. Yeah, so that's like, like... Like, all this is yeah. like extra. And we got these. So I don't know if I really said why. A big reason we got these, one, because ours are just, they're torn up. They're old. They're from Wayfair. We got them when we first got married. Had, like, no money. Uh, it was just time for new ones. But I see so many moms on Instagram, like, joke about, oh, when, like, before they had their baby, their nightside tables were, like, so organized. And after they have their baby, there's just stuff everywhere. Pumps, snacks, water diapers in the middle of the night and I was like you know this might be an excuse to go ahead and get a new nightstand so again this is like it blends but whenever we move in the next year or two these will come with so we wanted to get them we got them from like unclaimed furniture they have like um extra furniture like from uh warehouses so like actually furniture but like I think they just think that's their name yeah I think it's the same thing like you literally can buy Ashley's store furniture they have their whole you can custom yeah, you can like custom order things. They claim that it's like scrap. It is not scrap. They have this stuff. They have their own brand. Yeah. Well, and so there you go. Welcome back to another vlog day. So probably not gonna be vlogging much today. 
Um, I wanted to show you guys the breakfast that I've been making or one of the breakfasts. <laughs> I just posted on my Instagram stories that like I um been eating like two breakfasts a day and people are like, yeah, it'll stay like that when you breastfeed. Hold on, camera battery's dying. I have a million things to do today and I was, I eat like a million times a day. So I was gonna share the breakfast with you guys that I found. So it actually is something I made up. I saw it in a Instagram reel from some girl who does like healthy meal plans. She's a, um, she has Weight Watchers. So I saw it and I don't do like the points. I don't know how they translate over to calories or macros. So she was saying it's like two points, one point, zero point. It was very low in points. So I was like, I guess maybe, you know, it's probably low in calorie. Um, and it is fairly low in calorie. It's really good though. So I'm gonna share that with you guys because I made it last night for the first time just to try and it is so delicious. Uh, but for my first breakfast this morning, I had overnight oats. They are delicious. I do half a cup of oatmeal, um, three quarters a cup of, three quarters of a cup of uh, oat milk and then a little bit of cinnamon. The only reason I don't eat that all the time is because I forget sometimes to make it at night. I also have to take out the recycle today because we went, we drove by yesterday, the recycle place, and they were, they didn't have a bin out. So people were literally piling their trash on top of each other's to wait for the bin to come. And then there were like cars out the wazoo. I mean, I've never seen cars like this at the trash dump. So I'm taking our recycle today. I was not about to do that yesterday. Okay. So I'm actually gonna prep a couple of these after I make mine. So I'm gonna make uh, Sam's breakfast first. He just gets an egg sandwich with mayo, very simple. Um, and then I'm gonna make mine. So you need these Nasoya egg roll wraps. This is what that girl used. And I struggled to find these at my grocery store. They were with like the veggies in the cold section. These are 60 calories for one wrap. Um, and then she said you do like one egg per one roll. So she'll like kind of prep hers all together. So she'll put like four eggs, um, you know, in the pan, cook the eggs completely, roll them up and then stick them in a little Tupperware container. You pull them out, put them in the air fryer. Um, but how you actually cook it, so you need the Nasoya egg roll wrap eggs. So again, one egg per egg roll wrap. And then you add a little bit of cheese. So I've been struggling to find any kind of part skin, low fat, any cheese, um, shredded at the grocery store that is not mozzarella. I do wish that there was like, I think like cheddar is a little bit better when it comes to eggs, uh, but this is fine. And this is 80 calories for a quarter of a cup and a quarter of a cup will do two egg rolls. So it's very simple. You pop them in the air fryer, three minutes. I think I did 375 for three minutes. They're so crispy and so good. Let me look up the calorie count. Where am I, where's my phone? Okay, see this kid? Look at him. Pushing 25 weeks here. Okay. 343 calories for two of them. So um, it's a little higher than like an egg sandwich. I believe an egg sandwich is, or at least how I make it, 334. So literally 10 calorie difference, but I think these actually taste a lot better. So especially if you're prepping, these are just gonna be the ones I'm making today. You have to, it's such a mess because I made Sam's already. Um, you have to make sure the eggs are like fully cooked. You can't do any like sunny side up kind of situation. They have to be all the way cooked through. So I've got mine like really kind of chopped up. She did hers like in one of those, like how you just dump it in there and then it like let it get basically one piece. But to me, this is fine. Then I've got my quarter cup of cheese here that will go on both of these egg rolls. And then I'm using the um, instant pot with the air fryer lid. Okay. It is so not cute, by the way. Like it's not cute food, but it tastes good. Only downside to the air fryer with the Instant Pot is you have to use this little thing inside so it they take up a lot of room. Okay, got these prepping. This just finished. You can kind of see how crispy they are. All right, there you go. They are so crispy and delicious. I'm going to eat these and then finish prepping these. I gotta take Recycle out, run to the post office, and 
then get started on my work day. So I think that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go below, click the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.